So in a nutshell, if a dentist is watching this and wants to do the right thing and upskill themselves, do they contact the Australian Dental Association and say, hey, let's do some training? What, what's the message? So one is um, to contact, if you've got a patient and, you've, um, and they've um, been diagnosed and they've had their treatment, one of the things you can do is actually contact the surgeon, but the surgeon should be able to know who was the dentist as part of that multidisciplinary team. So that dentist can go and directly liaise with that specialist that was um, involved in that patient's care. Now, one of the things I do in South Australia here is that when I see these patients on referral from one of the, from the medical team or the multidisciplinary team, I will write a referral back to that, general, that patient's general dentist saying, this is what the patient had done, this is what we need to worry about, these are the issues for you. And there's been a, a, a means of communication that that patient's dentist knows who it was that looked after them. So that's one side of it. There is um, continuing professional development on that. The Australian Dental Association federal body has a, um, a CPD or continuing professional development portal. And there's, there's plenty of stuff on there about head and neck cancer, human papilloma virus and things like that. People like myself are also called to give presentations on that. And so the Australian Dental Association has a conference every two years there will be at least one presentation on um, cancers in general. Um, and certainly next year I go to Sydney and I'm um, involved in, a, in the conference and, and doing exactly that. So there is often that as well. And then the other thing that happens is people like me are also involved in training as well. So um, I do undergraduate training, I teach the postgraduate specialist program. 